Thank you, thank you very much, comrades. Thank you very much for coming. Na wanga ziko mokuli mwosa mene mabwela siku ya lelo kuchoka Mulusaka district. Na wanzatu wa mene wachoka kuma province zena angu. Bondala, ore misandala. Amuka kuta kwa karabo mshemi. Muyoba lume ni sabatuka ofera kwa karabo. Kondikozo shangwe. Muyo yange. Ni tumezi. Fia muna gembe, mwajoga gumu sanza, ugaba heba na buengwa. Ugaba ambile uti, imagani ngundale tago una ngundasi ya guru saga, aguti haga inde tambi masimpe mubesi, ibantuba azumina. Iguti muntugali mubesi, there is no there is no medicine for a liar. Unfortunately, there is no antibiotic for a liar. And there is no doctor, there is no medical doctor who is trained to cure lies. So HH is incurable. He will die suffering from the disease of lying. And when people say, when the members say, Ubu Fibula Buela, I think they meant HH. I think they knew. Because in law, there is an offense which they call obtaining money by false pretenses. Or obtaining goods by false pretenses. You go to Mr. Ndala in Nicaragua and say, Me, I'm selling a car. Give me money so that I bring you the car. Mr. Ndala gives you his car. Watabanayo moto kasuri pila. That is called obtaining goods by false pretenses. Chamene vanaivala chabe when they were making that law. Chamene vanaivala. Vanaivala kufakati obtaining state house by false pretenses. Sembe vanaivaka iyo, sembe echechi de alimachi mbwaka ila. Vanaivala, kangati vanaivala branch. Obtaining state house by false pretenses. Kuna mabantu, ine, nengati mwanifaka, ine, I'm not a tribalisti, me, I'll unite the country. I've just been reading on social media, the young men that have accompanied him, that accompanied him over Easter to his farms in Namwala and Choma. They are all hamasaka, hampengula, ha something. Isn't that tribalism? Yes. Why didn't he go with any Bemba? Why didn't he go with any Lozi? Because the man is a tribalist. I want you to look out for this. All the appointments that he has made, look out from tomorrow. All the appointments that he has made, you will find if it is a woman, it is Mutinta Zulu. It is a Tonga married to a Zulu. That's why she's been appointed. That's what he has done. He was blaming Edgar to be a tribalist. What he has done in the foreign service, all the people with the Tonga names who are ambassadors and who are working abroad, they have not been recalled. Wabadega. 
There is one man who phoned during one of my radio programs. And this is what he said. He said, this man, HH, is a tribalist. And he said, Mr. Kawimba, watch out, and I want the listeners to, to look at this. Where you find the two Tongas, you put a rose there to disguise the tribalism. Where you find the two roses, you put a Tonga to disguise the tribalism. Obtaining state house by false pretenses. If I, if I were a journalist, that would be my headline tomorrow. Hakainde obtaining state house by false pretenses. This is the man who gave us, you know, a list of lies. List of lies. Nothing that HH said and the UPND has come to pass as true. Nothing. He said all the youths are going to be employed under UPND. The same youth that we used to see on the streets, they are still there. They are still there. Hey, hey. If you don't daughter, I will stop talking. <coughs> All the youth that I know on the streets of Lusaka, and I'm sure this is not just about Lusaka, is a kitwe, Kabwe, where Babo Babo Charo comes from, the provi our provincial chairman, central province, Ndola, everywhere. The youths are still there. They are still unemployed. We have tried to say to him, why church you made a mistake? Can you please come back to the people of Zambia and apologize? The man doesn't want. He thinks he's very important. He's too important to apologize to the Zambian people. He's too important. We tell him, please come and move into Nkwazi house. The man says, I can't move into Nkwazi house. It is below my standard. I can't move into state houses below my standard. Now, if in Kwasi House is below HHS standard, Nanga Imamene Munkaragu Kuchiboli, Aku Yanganani Bwan, Aku Ganizrani Bwan, Nanga Imamene Munkaraka Mrs. Aku Ganizrani Bwan, Aganizaguti Imwe Naine. Bamele stinka na mnyumba monga ija Sindi febantu Tiri benzelu Tiri benzelu Wamena kanizi So You see the man By his action Chivote vote Na abo vene zambia pena angubaziche njera Chivote vote Manja chamene chawa machabe Ubu fibula buwela Na abu buwele Na abu buwele la ba HH Tomorrow Tomorrow you will be holding A press conference To tell the Zambian people More lies As usual As usual Kukamba boza chankala monga chigamba Kuli wa eche eche Jamezi chichoka Pantoloshi Afu na kubwela kutati uza ati Uyu milingolungu Ama nani kwe KCM Sinimu ziva ini Now for me Milingolungu has never told me a lie
Between the two, Milongolongo has never told me a lie. HH has told me many lies. So if I were to choose between the two who is telling the truth, I would choose Milongolongo. Because HH told me, me when I'm so nini at 10 hours, by 14 hours, the kwacha will come down. The money lied. The dollar. The money lied. He said the minimum price will come down. The money lied. He said the fertilizer will come down. The money lied. Fuel will come down. He increases. He says there will be no load shedding. The money lied. It is worse today. And what, he, what does he do? He changes the name. He changes the name because that's how crooks behave. He changes the name from load shedding to load management. That is what it is called in economics. So he changes from load shedding to load management. And he keeps quiet. He is lining police officers from his house, his private home, from morning to 17 hours. He carries his own chair every day from his home to state house. Because he is scared of being bewitched. Why do you want to be president in Gatuyo Pamfiti? He went to the Ministry of Health. He went to the Ministry of Health to go and make sure that there is no more drug shortages in hospitals. The shortage of drugs has continued in hospitals and clinics. Our people are dying. And the blood of those people that are dying as a result of lack of drugs in hospitals that blood is on Hakainde's head. And yet, and yet he came, he lied that he was going to make the lives of Zambians better. Not to kill Zambians. And he tried, you know, to go to, to Kawata. To go and campaign. And he said there will be no Kadarism in this country. And he went to Kawata in the last by election. It's not me who said it. It's not anybody. Somebody confronted him. Kadars are still here. They are still, still, still stealing our money. The man just looked down. In shame. He just looked down. The day before yesterday, you saw cadres of UPND in town fighting running battles with the police at Intercity. And these are the police officers who was promising that under UPND, the police officers will be respected. But they are still being disrespected by himself and his cadres. Another lie. But you see, the goodness with lies, now everybody knows. Now everybody knows that the man is a liar. The police know. Because a lie is a lie, even to a police officer. The soldiers know. Because a lie is a lie, even to a soldier. The teachers know. Because a lie is a lie, even to a teacher. The doctors know. Because a lie is a lie even to a doctor. Even in the villagers. Munagebe. I should I think we are all Muslims of Amba would have in the Waturweza. Abubesh. Waturweza. Now I'm Mura Ubesh Haga in the Guni. 
I wish I knew in the village kumuzi nakambati ingatamela na kulowa na mwalira then you have a big problem because we na kulowa already ndiye chama cha kivuta na akainde amela na mulowa boza ana mwalira so it is unpeleka good it is unpeleka good eh eh Amena na mulo wa boza kutazikamba boza pulizi ativuta ingatarimba muno muzambi abwele uyu munda mpaza mankwala Apole Twajipya twakwa iguje ngwa because a president is not supposed to be a liar a president is supposed to be a man of honor and integrity that's what a president should be. A president is not supposed to be a liar. He's supposed to be a man of honor and integrity. And these two values, my brother HH doesn't have them. What he wanted was the state house. What God, what God does, when you dare God, when you dare God, God can fit in you. Chitenge tuone. Eh, chikupeshe. In my language, in Sara, we say, Jiweze tete tete. Tete tete. Get it. Get it. Yes. Jiweze tete tete to uvone. That's what God has done. That my brother was outlining how many times he failed 2006 when he my vote. 2008 when he my vote. But he Even when the gap was very clear, but he beat her. Even when the gap was very clear, he was not even number two, but he beat her. But he beat her. The problem is ECZ. Yeah, the problem is this one. The minister, Murungwa Kambati, okay. Let me fix you now. You will say, Tete, Tete. Tete, Tete. You will say, Tete, Tete. Tete, Tete. That is what God has done. You will say, Tete, Tete. That's what he, we say. Now, the man is scared of his own shadow. Scared of his own shadow. He doesn't even know what to say. He doesn't even know what to say. Tete, tete. I want to, I want to, tomorrow, I will not go to the office. I want to sit in front of the TV and I want to see what he's going to say. What is he going to tell the Zambian people? That the dollar is 10 kwacha. That the cooking oil price is down. That the minimum price is down. That there is no road shedding. That all the youth are employed. Tete, tete, tete. He has nobody to blame now. He has nobody to blame now. Now, you and I, Twamulia Jorwe, we are lucky to have a liar for president. Very lucky. Very lucky. Because as we, as we go out into the compounds, the campaign is very easy. The campaign is very easy. Very easy. Because there's nobody who can defend a lie. Even his own ministers, when you meet them in private, they are confessing. His own ministers. 
His own ministers. Ababe never president awe. Ubu ubu fiwa chiramu. Those are his ministers. Leza waga mupa jibwe zete te te te. Get it. And let's see what you are going to do. When you dare God. And the te 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 is stronger than kufurira ngo. Kususa ngo mwani kufurira. Is it stronger than that? I was with Mr. Sata one day we were campaigning in the Eastern Province. So he gave he gave this this proverb at a meeting and said, "Na mwishiba kuno mulandati kususha ngoma ni kuivurira." So when we went to the next meeting, one of my colleagues from Eastern Province went to Basata and said, "No." That is not a very good proverb. There is another one which is, you know, which is better. So Michael Sato says, Yasha Niyo. And then he says, No, ati kususha imbwa ni kukumba. So, the president, Eo mubonfie yu ati kususha imbwa ni kukumba. And Michael says, Bushan nebo wala antire. Shire ifuaya yu. Therefore, I know in a good tea that to Kusushan Goma, the Queen Furida. That is a church. He has ruined this country beyond measure in seven months. Seven months. Seven months. He comes, he comes, is elected by 2.8 million people before he does anything for these 2.8 million people what does he do he rewards the mining companies by telling them don't pay mining royalty the zambians the zambians vote for him through his lies and the first thing he does without shame is to reward the mining companies don't pay any tax to the zambians don't pay any tax to the zambians okay that is how he thanks the zambians why because he was in bed with the mining companies they gave him money to campaign so for him, money is more important than anything else. That's what a capitalist is. That's what a capitalist is. To him, money is everything. HH was the chairman of Barclays Bank. I want him to, to say this tomorrow during his press conference. Which Zambian did he empower? I want him during the press conference tomorrow to give us a list of the Zambians whom HH empowered when he was chairman of Barclays Bank. Which Zambians did he empower? He just empowered himself. HH has shares in the Sun International Hotel. Go and ask those young men and women there how much they get paid per month. They get slave wages. And he gets the profits, he shares the profits with, with the Sun International. And you call that a leader of the people. He's a leader of the pocket, his own pocket. Not of the Zambian people. For a kind of profit is more important than a human being. He can even sell his child for profit. If he had a buyer. If he had kind of a buyer, he can sell his child for profit. So profit is more important to him than anything else. In seven months, he has ruined this country. After promising the Zambians that he was going to liberate them. And even today, he keeps on saying, I have come, you know, the country now is united. We are uniting in the country. I've never heard that the members in northern province are fighting with the, with the Luvades. I have never heard. 
I have never heard that in Namwara, the Ilas there are fighting with the, the members. I've never heard that. So what nonsense is this about him telling us he's uniting people? Which people is he uniting? Who is fighting who? Zambians are living in peace. So he's just uniting his pocket. You know? What is this fear of tribalism which is generating himself? Because he's a, he's a tribalist and try to send it, you know, out to the peaceful Zambian people that we are not living in peace. When we are living in peace, and he says, I've come to unite the country. Which country is he uniting? Which country is divided? If, if, Zambia, if Zambia were a disunited country, how did they vote for him, for God's sake? How did they vote for him? They voted for him because he, this is a sovereign nation, unitary state, and the people came together and decided because he, PF was also in a mess and it continues to be in a mess and God bless it. They said, let's try this one whom God has said it. In Sara we say menso goto goto. Menso wati goto goto menso. That's what he. Imwe uzei imwe chua kuchawama kumutendele kwa kalingalinga wakaba uti ilijanyumba mamene munangala wa sata. Mamene munangala wa kaunda for 27 years. Mamene wana manga maskulu na vipata. Mamene wana maskulu kwa mene wana enda haka inde. Atisanga kade munyumba muja. He is more important than kaunda. What in God's name for God's sake has HH done for this country? What has he done for this country? Nothing. Kaunda saved this country for 27 years. Vipatara kwa maana ya kuenda kainde kutasa mwalile afikele lukana president. Ni kaunda mena na manga. Maskulu kwa mena na enda kainde kuchoka kumuzi huko. Kupwela kukupwela kuenda ku university. Ni kaunda mena na manga. But kaunda nanka na mkwazi house. And the boy says, me, I can't live in Kwazi house. So you look at him, who are you? Who are you? What have you done? If he lived in the village, if he lived in the village, did he have a house in, in Wengwa, the size of Kwazi house? Goto, goto. I asked him one day, I asked him one day at one meeting when you come to Nakuman. In Amufunza, that in Kanya, I mean, I'll come every time we were at in a natural Kakumunzi. In Dana Nakuza, I didn't do a natural Kakumunzi work. All of us came from the village. All of us came from the village. Ah, Negai, you know, I'm just. Um, a village boy. I said, I'm also a village boy. Okay? This is the only president I've seen. I've never seen or heard him talk about his father. I've never seen a sister next to him. I've never seen a brother next to him. I've never seen a cousin next to him. Kapele mo muna ba onako? Ina si na ba onako? Ina si na ba onako? So, it is important. You economic front leaders to take this message out to the people. 
Muzienda na kapepa. Kapepa, monga waka mutumba. Kwa hile mba, boza yonzi ya HH, muzienda na ato mutumba, imuwe wakazi na umahandi bat. Munga peza mutu, mwene mwene peza ato, ufuna nikubele ngele, lai na mbabuanji, paka pepa. Eh, munga machapta za mbaibu. Eh, kufunza chapa ato, ufuna lai na mbabuanji, ya lo di shedding, muzai peza. Eh, at load management. He keeps on lying. He wants, he wants to be a minister. He wants to be a PS. He wants to be a director. He wants to be a DC. He wants to be everything. He wants to be a cancer. In a national level, we are in the state house. Where would the president find the time to go to the Minister of Health? To go and do what? To go and do what at the Minister of Health? The mining companies go and ask you colleagues from the Copper Belt how much our miners get paid per month. It is a shame. Muna mufeko hakainde wende ya kambati imwe mamaina zi mufula ntalama zingono. No ways. Hakainde doesn't talk about Zambians. He doesn't talk about Zambians. He doesn't talk about the welfare of Zambians. He doesn't say. The report I got recently when he went to Chisamba for the expo Anaka mbe chape na wazungu. Mazambia ni sana kambe na abu. Ulo kubaposha umanja sana waposhi. Sana waposhi. Eh. Aka unakuti aenda kufunction. Kwa mene kuli mazambia nzi. Hava na maglavu zimonga ni mhospito. Because he can't, he can't shake, he can't shake a black hand. He's a very clean man. He can't shake a black hand. He wears gloves. Muka muona li na mazungu, ato sa maski jaya COVID, because he can't get COVID from mazungu. Haka unataenda kumafirika, avala COVID maski, avala na magloves. So, if a different man na matenda, mazungu walibe matenda, amene wanga mpase. And he turns around and says, me, I'm the leader of this country. I've come to unite the country. Nonsense. Sala Pukan. Umudwali ile. Tifu Nakuti. Kuyambila Lero Pano. Pamele Tajita Lonchi. Zina ya party from Rendipo party to economic front Nchito ya yamba And Hakainde must make history As the first president To get out of office after five years Muna muona kwa ndata enda kufamu yake Kufamu yake mkuhona ngombe Hava na maglavs No, because his animals are more important than us Doesn't wear gloves Aka chwa ufamu yake, hapa na maglavs kulifi. That is the type of leader the 2.8 people voted for. Haa jiregi. Haa jiregi. Haa jiregi. So the work comrades starts today. We want to be the alternative government to the Zambians in the 2016. 2026, sorry. And we shall do it. We shall do it. Because HH is a liar. Because I can tell you, I can swear to the living Lord, that HH will never improve the lives of Zambians between now and 2026. That I can swear. He will not. 
He will run, he will, he will run out of lies. When he just came, Anabola Namawala, you know, this is the president, and you know, he's a very boring speaker. This is the president who been engaging the press from time to time. He held one press conference. After that, I wonder, hey, he, Yakaba. He disappeared. Had it not been for Miningolungu is accusing him that he met him, he would not have held, he would not be holding this press briefing tomorrow. He will not be doing that. He's doing that to launder himself. He's doing that to launder himself. But I can tell you, nobody will believe him. Because everybody knows he, that he's a liar now. He's a liar. And not only a liar, a pathological liar. A man who suffers from the disease of lying. That even over a small thing, he can't tell the truth. That's what he is. And, and, and that he has contaminated even his ministers. That he has contaminated even his ministers. So UPND is a political party of liars. In other countries, in other countries, with the revelations of Miringolungu, Hakainde would have resigned. He would have resigned. But he can't resign because lying is normal to him. He was a he was daring God. Kuenda ku church every Saturday. So mulunga toke na kuo na kuchonga mu register. Ubwela maning. So tete tete jibweze. I want you to see why I've not been giving this thing to you. God was just doing him a favor by losing. He didn't know that. God was doing him a favor. You know? God was doing him a favor. Then God said, okay, if you don't want my favor, Jibweze, I'll withdraw it. I'll withdraw my favor. Get it, detect it. There's nothing. You go and advertise and tell the Zambians you are going to employ 11,200 health workers. You have 110,000 applications. And you start singing that, about that as a success story. Even tomorrow, I'm sure you'll say it. From 110,000, even if they employed all the, all the 11,000, you still have 90,000 plus health workers without jobs. What in God's name is successful about that program? Nothing. Nothing. There is going to be so much corruption. There is going to be so much corruption. The only people that will be employed are those that are related to Hakainde's ministers. They are the ones that will be employed. How are they going to arrive at the criterion? You know, and, and not this one. They can only do that through corruption and nepotism and favoritism. So there is nothing. They are health workers. They are medical doctors who up to now have never been paid their allowances. And they keep on telling them next month, next month, next month. And they are suffering. And the man doesn't care. Why doesn't he not care? Because he's in his, he's in his state house now. Obtaining state house by false pretenses. There are no drugs in hospitals, but he doesn't care because he's in the state house now, obtaining state house by false pretenses. He is not able to reduce the price of fertilizer. He doesn't care because now he's in the state house, obtaining state house by false pretenses.
He promised the University of Zambia students and the, and the college students that when he comes to power, they will be given bursaries. Education will be free from grade one to university. He has not done it. He doesn't care because now he's in his state house, obtaining his state house by false pretenses. And he was saying these, these things on the video. The video clips are running, even today. But he has no shame. He has no sense of shame of saying, I duped people. Let me go back to the people and apologize. He doesn't. Because now he's in his state house. Because now he can line up poor police officers all the way from so-called community house. I don't even know what his community about it. I don't know what his community about his house. All the way from community house to state house. And they sit there. June is coming now. They will be sitting in that court as the man is sitting in an office with a, a heater. And then he knocks off. And you know that if those police officers have to be lined up in readiness for him, they have to wake up at 4 a.m. When he's still snoring in bed, comfortably. Yes. To go and wait for him on uh, by the roadside. Okay? And he, he doesn't see anything wrong with that. He doesn't see anything wrong with that. Because he is now in his state house, obtaining his state house by false pretenses. That was his project. I was a member of the UPND myself. I was one of the people that drafted. In fact, I was the one who drafted the first constitution of the UPND. With Anderson Mazok. All these people that are there today that are claiming to be UPND were not there. The people that Anderson Mazok called when he wanted to get into politics were let Edward Shamana, Levi Mwanawasa, Ben Kapita, and myself. Four of us. That church was not there. Even that leadership of UPND, he obtained it by false pretenses. He obtained it. From nowhere, Abanka Yuni, to Abanaba Washiga. He gets the Levi Mwanawasa said, you just don't remember, you Zambians, you, are, you know, sometimes we forget in politics. Levi said, this man is a liar. He came to my office and said to me, my businesses are suffering, I'm being harassed that I'm a member of the UPND. Mr. President, I've never been a member of the UPND. Levi said that publicly. And he says, I'm surprised today that the man is the president of the UPND. So he started lying a long time ago. He started lying a long time ago. Okay? Levy said it publicly that this man is a liar because he came to my office pleading with me. That is what UPND is. There are people, you know, that say that, no, you winter, you just hate HH. I don't hate HH. In fact, if you want to know, his wife is my cousin. Yes, mula muangu. Ati mula mububu yabi maningi. So I don't hate him. Okay. There are people that say, no, you, you are jealous of him because now he's in his state house. No. In fact, I'm very happy that he's in his state house. He was irritated. Because if he had not become president, all of us would have been saying, hey, if he was a church, he was a president. 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 
will be no. That's what you would have been saying. We would have been shedding tears for a man who didn't deserve our tears. But now, we know him. When Michael Sata used to refer to him as the calculator boy, he used to get upset. He used to get upset. He used to tell us, you know, running a country is like running a company. You just need to be an economist. Ramaphosa is an, you know, is a businessman in South Africa. Is South Africa any better? Nothing. This is a third world economy. Countrymen and women. This is a third world economy. And if we had many leaders like Paul Kagame of Rwanda, Africa would be heading in the right direction. Because Kagame doesn't understand how we can have copper here and still be poor. Kagame doesn't understand. And I also don't understand. That you can have copper here and all the other minerals and you must run to the IMF to go and beg for money. I also don't understand. I also don't understand, Mana. <laughs> there are many of us who don't understand, especially in the economic front. We don't understand. What is wrong with our economy is that you and I own nothing in our own country. We own nothing in this country apart from the free oxygen from God. The mines are owned by foreign companies. The land now is going to foreigners more than Zambians. Banks, you know, are owned by foreigners. So what do we own here? Nothing. 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 So what do we want to do in the economic front? We want to use Michael Sutter's phrase, bring dignity to the Zambians, so that you, the Zambians out there, can be the ones to exploit the natural resources of this country to your benefit. That is the policy of the economic front. We want to make sure that the Zambians become primary drivers of this economy. We want to bring, to bring indigenous local banks where you can walk and go and borrow money and put into your business and expand your business. Today, if you have a small business and you go to Standard Chartered Bank and go and borrow money there and you give them your house as collateral, just know that the house is gone. Just know that the house is gone. We are going to establish banks where you can go and borrow money without mortgaging your house. That's what we are going to do. We are going to establish local banks owned by government or by a group of Zambians where you can walk in, go and borrow money, and your house is still safe. Why is it that you ladies that do village banking are honest enough that you are able to borrow and pay back if Zambians are dishonest? Why? I ask myself. Which country in this world, I want HH to tell me tomorrow during his press conference, which country in this world has ever developed, my dear brothers and sisters, with a banking sector which is foreign-owned? Which country? Zero. 
all the, all the banks you find in London are British banks. All the banks you find in Germany are German banks. All the banks you find in Japan are Japanese banks. All the banks you find in South Africa are South African banks. Amalgamated Bank of South Africa, APSA. First National Bank, FNB. Stand big. All these are South African banks. Because even under apartheid, they knew that if you have a banking sector which is foreign, it can't serve your interest. It can't serve your interest. And here we are told that Barclays Bank, my bank, Stan Chat, and all these is serving Zambian interest. No. And you are told you have the central bank, you know, you have Bank of Zambia. They just do clerical work there. There's no supervisory work which they do. He told us when before he brought back this bank governor, whom Edgar defied because he was being compromised. He said to us, I'm going to give you the best bank governor that you have, uh, you have ever seen. He brings back the same friend of his. Ah, Tadabwa, ni makadi ya yafuti. Baesa muku dia kwati nishi na diabo. You know? He said to us, I'm going to give you the best cabinet. If this is the best for HHE, then I don't know what his waste is. Yeah. If this is the best, then I don't know what his waste is. You know? Even, 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 just, even just on the issue of the bank governor, you have to tell a lie. Even just on the issue of the cabinet, you have to tell a lie. By church, sir, Bubeshi, Mbuluashi, Mwajiswa, Mwajiswa, you know? So I'm happy that the man won. Tete, 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 And in 2026, we shall tell him, no, sir, go. Because, because the lies are too many. So go and rest a bit so that you can go and lie in the private sector. As the president, you have left us in shame. That's what he's going to do. Kagame was with him, was with him in Livingstone. Amu vera kamba. And I'm sure nana namu verenga. Amu pima. Aona ah. Awa tagwawa. So, agani za kagame, so, nisakambile muno. And then, nikambile kwa advice ni choke muno. Aenda kuja kwa mena anaenda kuja atumamisa yomonga ku Ukraine. How can a country which is so rich in mineral resources go to the IMF begging? Even this IMF thing, countrymen and women, we have been members. Zambia has been a member of the IMF since 1965. It's not the first time that IMF is coming here. We have been members of the IMF since 1965. Why are we still poor? If the IMF is, go, is, is the one that is going to make us better, why are we still poor? Why is unemployment still high? Why do we still not have drugs in hospitals? Why is our educational system down? If the IMF is the anger for our economic problems. You know? The man feels very comfortable to take photos with the Muzungus. He thinks he becomes a Muzungu also. 
that inferiority complex in a leader cannot give you a progressive leader. Cuba, Cuba is not a member of the IMF. Go to Cuba, they will tell you the life expectancy in Cuba, which is not a member of the IMF, is 78 years old. Zambia, which is a member of the IMF, the life expectancy is 47 years. How do you sit down, you know, and say, we can be saved by the IMF? And this IMF money, you know how much it is? 1.4 million dollars over a period of three years. Averaging something like 450 something million dollars per year. Not per month, per year. Seven, eight months now, not even a dollar has come through. woman. What is that bloody money from the IMF? What is it? I'm going to buy a mupa. So they are simply taking advantage of the man because they see the inferiority complex in him. So we want the economic front to be the alternative political party. We are the only political party that are speaking the language of uh, empowering Zambians by making them uh, catalysts and primary drivers of this economy. We are the only political party that think that Zambians are more important than anybody else. We are the only political party that uh, are saying to the Zambian people, never again shall you be second citizens in your own country. His Minister of Finance, if you remember the first Sunday interview you had, he said, we are going to create a conducive environment here which will bring back you know, foreign investment so that the foreigners, the foreign investors can, can come and build factories here and employ our youths. I haven't seen a foreign investor who has built even a toilet. Forget about a, a, a factory, even a toilet. Kulip. So those foreign investors are just in the minds of Hakainde and Stumbeko Musukotwani, Musukotwani is Minister of Finance. Where are they? Go to Kalabo, you know, there's no foreign investor there. Go to Shangombo, there's no foreign investor there. So they only exist in the mind of HH. How many trips has he made to America? How many trips? He has made more trips to America than he has made the trips to Wengwa, where he comes from, since he became president. What has he brought back? Zero for the Zambian people. What has he brought back? Zero for the Zambian people. We continue suffering. The poor Zambians continue getting poorer and poorer every day. We have our colleagues here that are not able to attend the Central Committee meeting which we held yesterday because they can't afford the transport to come from where they are to come into Lusaka. Isn't that a shame? Transport to get a bus fare, to get on a bus. And you are failing. Not through the, any fault of theirs. Because he has increased fuel. And next month he wants to increase again. And that month he wants to increase again. Because he himself is getting free fuel. Because his ministers are getting free fuel. So his ministers are getting free fuel. He's getting free fuel. He's getting free food. So why should he care about the suffering of the Zambian people? He doesn't. He doesn't. Okay? And then you have his supporters that say, no, give him time. Can you postpone hunger? Njala, njala ya bwela, ungai uze njala tia hii, first wa kainde wa konsako vintu kapole next month. You can't postpone hunger. 
You can't. Now, the man doesn't feel the pangs of hunger. He eats every day. The extra free food, the extra food he gives to his dogs. It's free food. And then he says to you and me, tighten your belt. As we should tighten our belts when he is loosening his as he is getting fatter. But I can't just want to go and get some money in private sector. But where am I now? Where am I now? But there it is. Then we are going to manage. Ah, Kasi, my boy, my boy is you. You are my shit. Now my cousin is going to be my boy. My cousin is going to manage. And now we are going to go for a Na suti manje inkala inkala mushe pa mimba baka chita so ugaona ni mahaka inda. So wana kuhone kaso on private sector. Because he's eating free food. When the people in Kalingalinga are going hungry. When the people in Mrs. Compound are going hungry. Only him is living well. And he says no, it can only let it get worse before it gets better. And he has his vice president, Mutale Narumango, who says, uh, Don't worry, if into Fiara Babuino, aha, at Kavinga to Alunda, Edo Fikawe, Edo Fikawe Kerepanch. Me, I've never seen that arithmetic. I'm hearing it for the first time today. In this, uh, in this administration. Mamuka Bishop. No. I think he, let Jesus take a bit of time because let him take a bit of time to come. But you see, that is the problem. In Sala, we say, when the umineme and the minama. If your friend, you know, Riminem, as you go for drinking, you have to emulate them and do Aminam. That is what is happening to Banarumango. Because the president is a liar, she also has to learn some lies. And then on Sunday, go to church. God, please forgive me for having told lies. But what can I do? I'm with the president who is a liar. So, comrades, I'm proud of you. Many of you that are here, many of you that are here, we come a long way. And we come a long way on principle. That we disagreed with, the, with what was going on in the PF. We disagreed with the indiscipline that we saw in PF. We disagreed with the catalyst that we saw in PF. And you have never been shaken. So I'm proud of you. And I know that when we form government, we shall form a strong government. Because your character has been tested. Your character has been tested. You have refused to be lined up. You have refused to be lined up like fools. That you are defecting. You heard what happened when, when the former PF guys, DC, you know, and everybody were, were defecting in Mongo. They were being insulted as they were giving their speeches. Mashoriva, thieves. You have refused, you know, to be demeaned like that. You have refused to be belittled like that. Because you are not thieves. You are men and women of integrity. And those are the values. Those are the values that we have cultivated together in this political party. We must be different. We should not be like them. That tell lies. We want to stand on the truth. We are going to tell Zambians 
get up, this is your country, and work. And you shall be rewarded. That's what uh, our message will be. And we shall tell anybody from outside, stand outside, stand, you know, at the end of the Q Fest, Zambians Fest. When we think we need you, we shall get back to you. But don't come here and start telling us nonsense that you can do it better than... Nobody can do it better than us, comrades. Nobody. Nobody. An investor comes here because he wants to make money. Not because he loves you and me. Not because he loves you and me. You read last, only last week, Standard Chartered Bank has closed its bank in Zimbabwe. Because they are no longer making profit. They are not interested in Zimbabwe. They don't care whether Zimbabwe goes into ruins or not. They don't care. So stop being cheated that our lives should be entrusted to foreign investors. No. We should look after ourselves. The important thing is that there must be unity among us. Unity of purpose. Unity of where we are going. And remain focused. I know that th things are hard. But only those that go through hard times succeed. Only those that go through hard times succeed. So Lusaka district, cultural groups that have come, our colleagues from Western Province, our colleagues from Southern Province, and all other provinces, Northern and, and, and the other provinces. Thank you, thank you so much for coming. I'm not going to make any announcement, but I'll say what one of my colleagues he said here. I'm going to give you a leakage. There is lunch after this. Because Hakainda has eaten. So me, I'm not a leader who eats alone. I want us to eat together. And I'll be with you here and eat with you until we disperse. Thank you very much. May God bless you and may God bless our country.